Hi, I'm David. This is my first vlog. I just need an outlet for all the wretched ugliness I must endure in this cruel joke called life. It's been two moons time since Becky extracted my still beating heart and fed it to a swarm of rabid wolverines. But now that I've discovered emo, I realize others feel this pain. Unlike my family. God, it's like, no one in this house understands me. Dad? God, Chris, don't you knock? What are you doing on my webcam? I'm vlogging. You see what I have to deal with? God. God. Dad, we need to talk. Is it about me using your guy liner? Fine, I'll stop. Life is already full of pain. It might as well have even more. No, Dad. You need to drop the act. I know you're only being emo because you don't like me being emo, and you want me to stop. But emo is who I am. No, emo is who I am. Your mother left me, and now emo is how I express myself. God, you'd know that if you weren't such a poser. You're the poser. Your favorite show is Two and a Half Men. <laughs> oh, Ashton, he's so randy. And I don't even miss Charlie at all. Oh, crap. I'm late for the REO Speedwagon concert. Plus, you're 47 years old. It's true. I am closer to the sweet release of death than you are, but not close enough. That's not the point. The cable is out. Did you pay the bill? What for? So you can watch television because you find it amusing? I have no use for amusement. Plus, we're out of money because I stopped working so I could stay home and write poetry. Seriously? I had to take care of everything myself? God! 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 I call this poem, There's Crabgrass on the Lawn of My Soul. Neighbors complain that I no longer mow. It's only because I feel so low. Lawn care's just a trivial folly in a life that's oh so melancholy. Hey Kyle, sorry I'm late. It's okay, your dad was reading me his poems. He's amazing. What are you wearing? I got a job as a caddy, so the bills would get paid around here. I knew you were a poser. Oh, he's right, you are a poser. Hey Mr. R, can you teach me to write poems like you? Unlike my son, you appear to be true to the spirit of emo. Let's do it. God! So, Dad, Jasmine's going to come pick me up any minute. So if she knocks, let her in. And don't embarrass me. Embarrassment is an emotion. Do not hide from it. Wallow within it. Whatever. I'm going to finish getting ready. God! God. 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 Uh, hi. Is Chris here? Chris is in his chambers, putting great effort into his appearance for this date, seemingly oblivious to the inevitable heartbreak. Oh, I guess I'll have a seat then. It takes a long time for Chris to get ready. I think he wears more makeup than I do. I'm sorry, I have to ask. Why are you dressed like us? Because I loved harder than anybody ever has in all of eternity, yet it was all for naught. I gave her my heart, only to have her chew it into tiny pieces and swallow it down her esophagus. It now resides in her stomach where Gastric acid is converting my heart into protein and fecal matter. That's beautiful. Dad, you're not talking about mom again, are you? God. I've just always believed that pain is beauty, and I've never seen anyone in more pain than you. It brings me envy. Then your envy is your pain. I envy your envy. No. Why? I know I'm young, but my soul is ancient and decaying. Of that, I am truly aware. But as I said, I already gave my heart. I have no heart to give you. 
Not until my former beloved excretes it from her bowels. But without you, I'm nothing. Okay, Jasmine, let's go. No, I'm in love with another man. Who is it, Kyle? Dad? I can't take this anymore. Goodbye, Chris. Forever. I can't believe she's gone. Do you want to watch Twilight? New Moon or Breaking Dawn? Because I could go either way. You can't be with me anymore. It's too dangerous. These vampires the only know one millionth happen. of the pain I feel. Can you pass the popcorn? I saw what he did to you. I would never leave you like that. That concert was amazing. Yeah. Thanks for taking us, David. Of course. If I was capable of feeling joy, it would have been a great time. Dad, Kyle, Brian, Jasmine? Were you guys hanging out? Yeah. We went to the Paramore concert. It was David's idea. First of all, it's not David. It's Mr. Reynolds. And Dad, why didn't you invite me? Chris, I didn't invite you because you are a poser. It's true. What? Dad, you only know about Paramore because you stole my iPod. It doesn't matter how someone discovers emo. It only matters if someone is true to emo. Yeah, maybe you used to be emo, but you just got a job as a caddy. You work in the daylight. Yeah, and one time at school, I saw you smiling. That's because I was daydreaming about my own death. God. God. If David says you're a poser, you're definitely a poser. Oh yeah? Well, I'll show you guys. God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. See? Who's the poser now? It seems I have achieved victory. Come, let us go to my room and write poetry. Dad, I think you need to go to the hospital. God, that sounds like poser talk. God! Ooh, it's kicking in. He passed out. That is so emo. I'll get the knife. All right, let's get this rehearsal started. Is everyone ready? Let's rock in a very sad way. I never drink water, I just swallow all my tears. I never eat food, I just devour all my fears. I never have fun, I just live a life full of jeers. Cut! Cut, guys! I cannot sing with my poser son here. You started a band with my friends? God! You're way too old for this! My advanced years have only brought me advanced misery. God! God! Don't stop playing on account of me, then! I'm going to my room! God! God! from my diary. God, that's ridiculous. Keep going, guys. Now things have gone from bad to worse. My dad's gone emo and I am cursed. He's gone and stolen all my friends. Joined them together and started a band. I hate my dad. Yeah, yeah. I hate my dad. I hate my dad. 
Yeah, I hate my dad. I hate my dad. Yeah, I hate my dad. My dad sucks. Come on! That's definitely from my diary. I wrote that about you. You know, those lyrics did sound like they were written by Chris. Is this true? Okay, I admit it. I stole those words from Chris's diary. But what is sadder than a man who cannot create his own words? Whose insides are so hollow that they can only be filled with the words of others. Someone who is hated by his own son. The sun shines bright on those who can express themselves. But for me, there is only darkness. Wow. You are an emo god. Let's jam. I hate my dad, yeah, because he's not a poser like me. Chris. Yeah, because Chris wrote this, because he's a poser. Those last lyrics I wrote myself. God! What are you doing? You were right about me being a poser. I'm not emo. I got tired of being a miserable little pussy all the time. So I'm throwing out all my emo stuff and I actually feel happy. And if you don't like it, well, I'm okay with that. Do you mean it? Yeah. Thank God. Oh, I can finally take off this ridiculous crap. What? Listen, your mom and I didn't really split up. We were tired of you being a miserable little snot, so we hatched a plan where she would pretend to leave me and I would pretend to go emo, and then eventually, you would see how pathetic you were being and drop it, and wow, the plan worked really well. How could you put me through that? It was for your own good, I mean, come on. Wait, you also left your job. Don't worry, I took a sabbatical. And when you cut off your own pinky toe to prove how emo you were, that was fake too? Um, no, I really did it. It got infected pretty bad and I'll never walk in a straight line again, but it was worth it. Wow, you and mom must really care. And I am happy now, so thanks dad. Honey, great news! Chris isn't emo anymore! The plan worked perfectly! Now we can finally be together again! Who's this? David, I have some bad news. While we were apart, I met somebody. This is Rick. How's it going? Oh, no, 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 no. I, I know we talked about you bringing another guy to really sell the separation, but... The plan really did work, so we're good. Sorry we dragged you out here for nothing. This isn't part of the plan. This is just what happened. I'm sorry. Oh, <laughs> my wife, the comedian. That's why I married you. <laughs> Never a dull moment, I swear. It's not a joke. I want a divorce. And you must be Chris, right? Yeah. Hey, I got an extra ticket to the Lakers game tonight. You want to go? Oh, awesome. Wait. Dad, you're okay, right? Of course. Go have fun. I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> 